Welcome. Thanks for being here today. We're going to talk a little bit about being tripped up. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, we all know that person who is always tripped up. They're always penetrated. They're rough. Their feathers are always ruffled. Maybe it's you. Leave in the comment section below if this describes you. Are you always tripped up? Do you always have your underwear in a bunch, as they say? Yeah, some people just walk around like that all the time. In fact, with what I do, and I put content out on YouTube, <laughs> you'd be amazed. Some people just get very, very tripped up. I'd be willing to bet they're tripped up in all areas of life, and this is showing up all the time, especially with their loved ones. Can you imagine living with someone who is constantly affected by everything in the world? Yeah. I work with a lot of clients that come from a level one or level two catabolic energy is what we call it place. At the end of the day, not all days are going to be good. And at the end of the day, we are going to experience stress and overwhelm. It's inevitable. But stress and overwhelm should be coming from an outside source and it is going to happen. So thinking that it won't or expecting that you'll never encounter something that is going to trip you up, so to speak, right? Because that's exactly what happens. That's okay in the moment because things happen, right? Outside influences. We're at the mercy of life. We're at the mercy of other people. So we are always at risk to have our buttons pushed or be triggered. But here's the thing. There's people in this world, and some of you probably can relate to being one or knowing one. Again, let me know. They're always tripped up. They're always triggered. They're always ruffled. Yeah. You know why? Because most people just simply are not as happy as they could be. They are not stepping in their power. They are not living the life that they desire. And they believe they're a victim to everything and everyone. Can you imagine? Can you imagine living like that? And the thing is, is there's nothing we can do to help these people. And you people pleasers out there, you tiptoe around them because you don't want to ruffle them anymore. Or you just, you keep your distance, right? Right? Often I will hear in coaching, what do you do about someone like this? Well, at the end of the day, we can't fix anyone. We can't handle anyone. How do you handle? How do you fix? Who you can handle is you. And that's what you have to understand is you can only handle yourself with these people. And you have to decide what that looks like. And it can change from different people, right? It can change from person to person depending on maybe what role they play in your life. Uh, if it's someone you're not around very often, it may be easier for you to manage yourself and handle yourself. But if you live with this person, you work with this person, you're around this person on a day-to-day -day basis, it can be draining. It can be draining. That's why when it comes to your high schooler deciding what they want to do as a career and what they're going to get their college degree in, Really think about this because people can be draining and some people thrive better working independently and not with a group of people. I work really well independently. I prefer to work on my own. I prefer that versus working with people. I just work better that way. And there's no right or wrong, good or bad. It's just what you desire. But if you are in a role where you have to deal with people all day long and people are triggered and penetrated and it's always that same one, we know, right? They have that reputation. We believe them when they show us who they are, right? At the end of the day, the only person that you can handle is yourself in how you're going to show up with that person. You're not doing the triggered, the penetrated, the ruffled person any favors by coddling them. You're not doing them any favor, but it's not worth your energy. Am I going to say yes to giving my energy to this? No. No. That's up to you. 
That's up to you. You have to step in your power. You have to decide what those boundaries look like. If you're living with someone who's like that, yeah, it's going to be tough. But you can't change them. I'd be willing to bet if you live someone like this who's always penetrated and triggered and ruffled and ruffled and ruffled, it doesn't mean that they don't have good qualities. We're not talking about good qualities at all. We're not talking about that at all. We're just talking they're always ruffled and triggered and they're always a hothead, right? Well, first of all, you knew this going in, right? You knew this going in. But it's tough. No one's going to tell you it's not. But you have to decide what your boundaries are going to be with that person because at the end of the day, you've probably tried to fix them. You've probably, you've probably tried everything. Most people will say that. So my message for you today, first of all, if you are the one that's always triggered, penetrated, ruffled, how unfortunate that you're not stepping into your power. You are not a victim to this world. Yeah, we have ups and downs. We are at the mercy of life's circumstances, right? If a tree falls on the house, yeah, you're going to be a little triggered, right? But what about releasing that, right? Because it's outside of you. If there's something you don't like about you or you're not living the optimal life you desire and you're not happy about something, maybe your weight, you're just walking around with this chip on your shoulder because you're not happy with your body, do something. Do something about it. Step in your power. Today's the day, not tomorrow, not Monday, today. Step in your power. Watch your energy shift. Watch your energy change. So when you're around someone, don't absorb what they're putting out to the world if they're triggered, penetrated in their mood because they're not happy with themselves. It's not that they're not happy with you. Let them have their own story. You establish the boundaries that you need to with that person, whatever that looks like for you. If you need help, work with me one-on-one -on -one as, your, as your life coach. would love to help you but you can't fix anyone. So we have two sides. Either you're the one showing up that way and you're going to change your ways, right? And if you can't, work with me. Work with me. First identify what's, where's this coming from? Where's it coming from? It's usually unhappiness with yourself and you portray it to others. Poor me, woe is me, the world is happening to me, this always happens to me. You're lucky, I'm unlucky, you have it great, I have it bad. And you wonder why everyone avoids you. Well, I just shared that with you. Your loved ones can thank me later. If you're living with someone, working with someone, and have to, have to, do we say deal, but be around someone like this, understand where they're coming from. They're just unhappy. You don't have to be that person. You don't have to take it. There's great power in accepting I can't change someone. It doesn't mean that you're okay with it. There's a difference between being okay with something and acceptance. Accepting I can't change the way you choose to show up, that you're triggered, penetrated, and ruffled all the time. I can't change that, but I can manage myself. And I may say no. I may say no. Powerful message today. Yeah? Love for you to weigh in. Did I describe you today? Did I describe someone you know really well? Let me know. Let all of us know in the comment section what you're going to do today to step in your power on whether, whatever side you're on. Yeah, food for thought. All right, thanks for being here.